Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I try to post a new video. In today's video I am going to be putting together the Cowboy Gnome. In a previous video I did a gnome where I made, I did a video where I made the hat and a lot of you asked um, if I could show you how I did the body and how I put everything together so that's what this video is. It's of me putting everything together um, because in, a pr in pretty much all my gnome videos where my gnome is either standing or setting, they're all done the same way. So I will not be making the legs and everything on camera because I have videos up. All I'm doing today is putting everything together and showing you what container I will be using. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to be needing a creamer container before I, I use a planter's peanut container, but I could not find no more of the same kind. So I'm going to be using a um, coffee creamer bottle, but all of them are going to be done the same way. No matter what container you get, you can do this all the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so we can get into it. So the first thing I did was I took a base. This is what I glued my legs down to. And here is one of the legs that I done and this is how I did it if you want to know how I made my known shoes just um, let me know these are made out of a paper tube a toilet paper tube um, tissue paper and masking tape if you want to see how I did that I have a video I will do a video separately for that but here I took that and I took my pants leg and I have a video up on how I made these also and I just basically slid this over the top just like that and then I took some hot glue and I'm just going to go ahead and glue the the pants down to the shoe just like that same thing with this one going to just glue this down right on top and we're going to go to the back and we're going to glue it down back here just like that hold it there let everything dry now once that's dry I'm going to go ahead and take a hot glue and we're just going to put a thin layer right across and then we're just going to pinch the ends together and we're just going to take one end and fold it over and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue down just like that going to hold that there and we're going to do the same thing to the other leg going to hold that you're going to put a little bit of hot glue right down through here going to squeeze it at the ends together and you're going to tuck it just like that so put a little bit of hot glue down right here and we're going to go ahead I'm going to hold this and let that dry so now once you have that this is what you should have I'm gonna go ahead bend it just like this I'm gonna slide back and we're just gonna go ahead and glue the legs down right onto the base so when you glue them down they should look just it should be just like this I'm gonna glue it and then I'll show you so you're going to put a good amount of hot glue right down on the base. We're going to hold that there just like this. Slide this down a bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here. Grab me a glue stick. I'm just going to go ahead, stick some hot glue on here just like that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick this down just like that right on top and I'm just gonna hold that there I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here in here we're gonna hold that down and we're gonna let that dry and this is what you should have and the reason I use foil because you can pose the legs any way you want and I'm just going to go ahead and just add a little more hot glue just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Now this is the way I'm going to leave it. Now um, 
if you want, you can go ahead. This is the body that I'm going to be using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this to the end because I need to be able to get a good measurement of where I want it. And I'm going to take some foil. Actually, I'm just going to grab some here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up like that. And I'm just going to add a little more foil so I can have it to the, the height that I want it. And I'm happy with that. And now I'm just going to hold this here and see how I want it. I might have to change a few things. This is the thing with, when you're making gnomes that's sitting. You got to play around with it until you get it to the way you want it. So all I'm doing is just... I'm going to play around with it. And I'm going to leave mine just like that. So I'm going to put some hot glue right here. I'm going to go ahead, stick this down. Turn this back around. This part is getting, a, it's going to be a little tricky because once you glue everything down, it's kind of hard to pull it up and start over. So I'm just going to, all right, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to add a little more glue. We're going to go ahead and stick this down. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this here. And I'm going to put hot glue right directly on the bottle. And then we're going to glue that in place. And you want to use a good amount of hot glue just to make sure that nothing comes loose. And I'm sorry about my dogs barking. Um, my husband is bringing the other dog in. And she is excited to see her. We're going to hold this here and let that dry. But while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and leave it set like that. And I took a, a piece of my pants and cut them. Let me turn this down. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go around this, just like this, because this is going to serve as the um, the belt loop. That This is going to be the top part of the pants. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. So I decided not to glue this down just yet because I took the sleeve of a shirt and I'm just going to go ahead and pull this over the bottle. This is going to serve as his shirt. And so I'm just going to pull that over just like this. I'm not going to worry about gluing anything down. So it's going to be like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of hot glue here just to hold that closed. So this is what it's looking like. And we're not going to worry about the top. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, I am going to come back with this. And we're just going to go around. And that shirt's going to kind of be tucked in. So it's going to look something like this. It doesn't look like much, but it will once everything starts coming together. So again, I'm going to go ahead and slide this up here. And we're going to go ahead and glue this in, in place. So once you get everything glued down, this is what it should look like. I just took the end of the belt and or a pants leg and put this around just like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of burlap ribbon and we're going to use this as his belt. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to go ahead 
and remove the rest of these loops. And I think there's only two that I have to remove. And I'll just re-add some more, so it's not a, it's not going to be a problem. So we're going to take the, uh, this is going to be the belt, and I may have to cut some off. We'll see, or I may just leave it as is. So this is the belt. This is what it's looking like. I'm just going to pull this up a bit, and I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue right on the top and we're just going to glue this right in place so I'm going to go around like that I'm going to continue to go around and normally I would make him so he's like setting in the grass or something with his legs crossed and this is what we have now um, I made a little um, belt, or what do you call it? It's a um, belt buckle for him, and we're just going to put that right here. So it's just going to go right in the middle. So we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue, and we're just going to stick that right smack in the middle. So that's what we have so far. This is what we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and add his arms. We have his arms here. And I'm just going to play around with where I want them to be. And then once I'm happy with the placing of the arms, I'm going to glue them in place. And I'm just going to bring these down a bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue right here. We're going to stick that right smack in on the side just like this. So this is where it's at. I'm going to go this head and do the same thing on the other side. Just making sure I have everything nice and even. So put a little bit of hot glue on. You're going to go ahead and stick that right on, just like this. Going to hold that there and allow it to dry. This is what we have so far. And I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue right there. This is what we have. And I'm going to go ahead and pose his legs the way I want them to be. And I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue. Right down on top. But I want to slide back and replace this on how I want it. So, a little bit of hot glue right here, and we're just going to go ahead and stick that just like this. You're going to hold that and let it dry. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the little um, buttons to the sleeve. So, we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue right there. And we're going to go ahead and pop this bead, this button right on. So he have little buttons on his shirt. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue. Going to go ahead and grab the button. And we're just going to stick that on. And he has some already going down his shirt. Now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to grab his hat just to see where it's going to fit. So when I put the nose on. So I'm going to put my nose directly onto the shirt. So 
So we're just going to stick that right there. It's not going to be seen. So it'll be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue around just for extra security to make sure it does not slip or fall off. So this is what we have. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and take his hat and place it on to see where it's fitting at. Slide that up a bit. That's what we have. I'm going to turn my camera up a bit. So that's what we have. Now we're going to go ahead and take his beard. And this is faux fur. And I used this. I didn't do it too much to this one. Um, I always use the same thing for all my gnomes. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of hot glue on here just like that. We're going to stick that there, do the same thing over here. Going to go ahead, slide that up, make it connect. And this is what we have, just like that. And I know it's hard to see because I'm using white now, but there it is. And now I want a little bit of that faux fur in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and put some back there. So I have my faux fur, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick this here. But before I glue it down, I want to take my hat and put it on again. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here. And we're just going to stick it in the shirt like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this right on top. There's that. We're going to come over here and do the same thing over here. So now we have hair in the back and hair in the front. The last thing we need to do is we're going to um, go ahead and pop his hat on. Pull that. I'm going to put his hat on. So this is what it looks like with his hat on. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pose his hands. The last thing I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and give him a little rope to be holding. So I am going to go ahead and roll this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue like there. Gonna grab my scissors and we're just gonna cut the extra off. And I'm gonna go ahead, bend his hand up a bit. I'm going to put the rope right here so it's going to go like that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the bottom. We're going to stick that right here. And I'm going to glue his hand right down on top of the rope. Just like that. Hold that and let it dry. I want to put a little bit of glue there just to make sure this is underneath. I'm going to hold that for a bit. And this is what we have. Let's move this out of the way. And here is our little cowboy gnome. Here he is from the side. Um, now, I'm going to slide this one away and we're going to bring this one back. As you can see back here, I made um, this one holding a little gun on his side. If y'all want to see how that's made, um, let me know and I'll do a separate video on how I made the little, um, his gun. And I also made one holding it uh, with a guitar. If y'all want to see the guitar, how I make that, just let me know. I'm going to turn it up so y'all can see me. Okay, here he is again. This is what he looks like. 
um that is it for this video if you like this video please give me a likes and a thumbs up if you are not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love for you to become part of my youtube family and with that being said thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my real my videos it really means a lot y'all have a nice night bye